Okay, I wanted you guys to take a day to um, work on the comparing functions assignment because I could tell there was a, a lot of problems with it. So I wanted to give you some hints. Okay, I'm going to go pretty quick because I only can make 10 minute videos. I can't go over 10 minutes for YouTube, but I'm going to try to give you some hints on the tree problem. Um, so you may want to do a little bit of the problem as I talk about it and, and pause the video. Okay, because I, I have to talk fast. Okay, but let me give you some hints that may help you with this problem, and then maybe the next problem will be easier as well. Okay, um, we have three trees. Uh, they're explaining the tree's growth in a sentence for tree one. They're giving you measurements in a data table for, for tree number two, and they're giving you a graph showing you the tree's growth um, for tree number three. So what they're asking you for is which tree is growing fastest, which was tallest when it was first planted, which tree is tallest after six months, and find an equation for each. Okay, big idea. On all these problems, you're thinking y equals slope x plus y-intercept. Okay, it's just we're looking at these uh, this information in different forms. Okay, the slope is the change. The y-intercept is the initial amount. Okay, when you're looking at tree one, uh, first tree was five inches tall when planted. It has grown four inches every month since being planted. The change amount would be the slope in front of the x. And the initial height, okay, the initial amount, the initial height would be the number at the end, the y-intercept. So you just figure those two things out, put them in, you get your equation. Okay, for the data table, we have the measurements of a tree shown in the data table. Okay, it's still going to be y equals blank x plus blank for the equation. Okay, for the slope, when you have a data table, you need to find the change in y over the change in x. Okay, so you're going to do that for the number in front of x. The number at the end, the y-intercept, okay, it's the initial amount. Okay, but the initial amount of a data table is always going to be the number across from zero for an x value of zero. Okay, so keep that in mind when you do the data table. Okay, when you do the graph, the uh, number in front of the x is going to, it's still the slope, but to find the slope of a graph, it's going to be rise over run, because that gives you the change. Okay, that gives you how fast things change. And the y-intercept of a graph is where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so you have to do that problem that way. Okay, so I thought I would go ahead and, uh, because the graph is not perfect, I, I thought it was just a little bit hard to read. I thought I'd go over the tree number three. So we'll, we'll get this equation um, done for tree three. Okay, so for my rise and my run, which goes in front of my x, it's going to be up three and a half over one, if you're looking at these two points. Okay, and again, because that was a little bit hard to read, I just thought I'd go over this one with you. So the rise is up three and a half inches over one month. So the slope is three and a half inches per month. Okay, 3.5 over one, 3.5 inches per month. So I want to put 3.5 in front of the X. Okay, so it's growing three and a half inches per month. Uh, the Y intercept is where the line crosses the Y axis. Okay, here's the y-axis. The y-axis is being crossed at 10. That means it was 10 inches initially when it was first planted. That tree was 10 inches tall. So that 10 represents the initial amount, the y-intercept. Okay, so there's my equation for tree 3. y equals 3.5x plus 10. Okay, now you're going to need to find the equation for tree 1 and 2 
but remember there's different ways to do it because this is a sentence and this is a data table. Okay. Um, next thing you want to think about is question six and seven. If they're asking you which tree is growing the fastest, okay, growth, that's change. You're going to compare the slopes. Okay, you're going to compare the rate of change, the numbers in front of the X of all three trees to figure out that answer. Okay, number seven, which tree was tallest when it was first planted? Okay, that's going to be the initial amount, the initial height. You need to compare the, the last part of each equation to figure out the answer to that. A lot of people miss those two questions. Okay, um, then they're going to ask you which tree will be tallest after six months. Okay, one way to find out the height of all three of these trees after six months has gone by is think of it this way. Six is the X value. Six uh, months is X. So you could take your equation, replace the X value, which is months, which with six, and then y would give you its height after six months. So, I'm sorry, wrong click. So for that tree, three, y equals 3.5 times x plus 10. If I wanna know the height after six months, I'm gonna replace x with six and get y equals 3.5 times six plus 10. So I would take 3.5 times 6 because you multiply before you add. 21 plus 10 is 31 inches tall. See, y is the height. So after six months, that third tree is 31 inches high. So you need to do that for tree 1 and tree 2 to answer question 8. Okay, which tree is tallest after six months? You got to take the X values, replace them with six, and then find out what Y is. Okay, I know that's a lot of information. I hope this helped. Pause the video and spend a little time reading through what I wrote. Uh, please let me know if you're still having issues and I'll help you.